All right, you guys, I want to show you guys a new feature in Final Cut. This should have been in Final Cut a long time ago, and it's literally one of my new favorite features because it's going to save you so much time. It's gonna... This is a tedious part of editing that now can be done in one click. So let's get into the computer and I'll show you guys. So we're in here in Final Cut Pro 10 and also you need to update your Final Cut to the latest Final Cut which is 10.49 and that will give you this new feature. There was a other couple other features but this is the one I'm really excited and I think helps a lot of content creators if you guys are editing videos for YouTube or anything like that and especially talking headshots it's gonna make your edits a lot cleaner. So as you can see right here we have water and then into a talking shot so as you can hear you know, coming up here, bro. It's like a really, really hard cut. Normally, what you would do is you would go in here and you would separate the audio, drag this over this way, drag this over that way, and then fade these two clips together. And then you get a nice fade into each clip. It sounds better than that hard cut. Now you're hearing this. You know, coming up here. So you have that transition from the loud water into the speaking and they fade into each other very nicely. Now what we can do literally, we don't even have to do that. What you do is you select both clips and you go up here to modify and you go down to adjust audio fades and you apply crossfades. So what that does, you might be looking at it like this and being like, well that didn't do anything, it just did like a weird fade. But if you actually separate the audio, it actually just did what I manually did with one click. But this can get even easier. You can actually assign your own shortcut to this feature to just do it in one click. If you want to go up and up here into Final Cut, go into Commands and Customize. You're going to see all the shortcuts in Final Cut and you're going to see all the keys you have to press to use them. But look for crossfades or crossfade and as you can see here I have mine assigned to option Z because that command was open but you can literally assign any key to it that is open you can do shift control option command tab shift caps lock H I don't know you know what I mean you can do whatever you, you whatever is comfortable for you but so let's say I deleted that you know um, I just deleted the crossfade and let's say I want to add option Z as my as my custom shortcut option Z and it'll add it it's like right here really close and you can use it so then you click save and now you have your custom key if you're enjoying this video right now please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this so now when you go in here you select these two clips option Z bam as you can see it did it that easy boom another tip to make this crossfade feature even better you go into preferences you go into editing and you change the crossfade default is point zero point ten but I changed it to zero point five to give it a little more of a crossfade and it's smoother one thing to know is that you do have to have enough audio to be able to crossfade the amount of time you have pre-selected so if there's not enough uh, time to crossfade in the clip it's gonna tell you that it's gonna create a crossfade and it might sound a little funky or something but usually for the most part 0.5 half a second is good enough so now let's say you have a long talking shot like right here I'm talking smartphone cameras have really come along over the last couple of years and they're getting better and better I really feel that cell phone so as you can see sometimes it, you can get away with hard cuts between words and stuff and it'll sound fine but usually you want to go in there and manually adjust these fades and fade them in and out and it'll sound a lot better but as you can see sometimes you have a really long uh, interview or project or whatever it is you have here and that's a, that is very tedious it takes a long time to do all this so what you can do is you literally select all of them and you can either go up to modify adjust audio fades and click the crossfades or custom command key that you typed in there and you just select option Z in my custom command and now you have all of these clips crossfaded for you and that you guys is such a valuable feature in editing because this is gonna save you so much time it's gonna save you a tremendous amount of time because a lot of the time you spend on like you know projects or client projects or even your own YouTube videos especially when it's talking headshots like this you're gonna spend a lot of time fading those audio clips and now it's doing it for you as you can see like these clips right here that just faded cameras have really and come along over the last couple years. your audio is going to sound clean your interview your talking your talking headshots are going to sound really good because now they're cross faded like you normally would so yeah you guys that was just a quick video i wanted to show you guys because this is a feature that i just recently started using on final cut and it has saved me a lot of time once you have your whole edit done you can literally select everything on the main timeline 
and click that uh, custom command key that you set up it's gonna fade all those clips for you and it's gonna be it's gonna save you a lot of time honestly if you guys are creating videos here on YouTube and you guys have a lot of talky headshots like that it's gonna save you a lot of time but yeah you guys I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you guys will use this feature and I know you will because it is essential in editing and it's gonna save you a lot of time so so I'll see you guys in the next video don't be a butthole and subscribe peace